week two of the fantasy football season. And his running back starts it for week two. The first running back I would start, James Cook. The Buffalo Bills, James Cook, a good week one performance he had in that victory versus the Arizona Cardinals. Now Thursday night football ball game at the Miami Dolphins. And we know defenses, for the most part, in those Thursday night games aren't all that great. So this offense looked pretty good in week one. Josh Allen, I know he's banged up with the left hand, but he said he's good to go when he's going to start in the Thursday night ball game. And James Cook, he's the bow cow over there. Ray Davis, he came in for a few plays, but he didn't have much impact. And Cook could do it all running between the tackles, catch the football out of the backfield. Then he had a solid double-digit performance in week one. Next start, James Conner, the Arizona Cardinals. James Conner, he looked good in week one, and he's always been a solid running back, is James Conner. Just injuries have been a concern on and off throughout his career, where you pretty much could pencil him in, missing two to four games per season is James Conner. But week one, a great ball game he had at the Buffalo Bills. He was getting a lot of touches. I know Trey Benson, he was worked in as well, and DeMarcado in a couple touches. But James Conner, he's the workhorse in that backfield, and is still a pretty solid receiver out of the backfield, I believe, for this Arizona Cardinal team. So this week, with a good matchup versus the Los Angeles Rams, that just got gashed on the ground by Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery. James Conner, a solid start this week. Next start, DeAndre Swift. The Chicago Bears, a bad week one it was for DeAndre Swift. Only 10 carries, 30 yards, and a two-point conversion. But he got majority of the touches in the backfield with Khalil Herbert not getting a lot of work. Roscon Johnson, pretty much a non-factor. And this week in a potential shootout on Sunday Night Football with the Houston Texans. I think Swift could go out there and have a good game. Like I said, it was only three yards of carry. He didn't look good at Swift. But this whole offense was thrown off. And I thought Tennessee had a pretty good game plan, but this week Swift will be a decent option. Next start, Jerome Ford of the Cleveland Browns. So Jerome Ford, he got a garbage time touchdown late versus the Dallas Cowboys. Week one blowout loss to Dallas, but Ford, he's the bell cow over there. Pierre Strong was backing up. He didn't really get many touches in that game. And Jerome Ford, he could catch the football out of the backfield. He could run in between the tackles. And we also know Nick Chubb is out another few more weeks at minimum on the PUP. So this week with a good matchup at the Jaguars with Devon A. Chan had a big ball game versus them and Jeff Wilson looked decent at times. Jerome Ford to start, next start, Ryan Robinson Jr. of the Washington Command. This Austin neck what we know is the backup for this commander team. But Brian Robinson, he had full command of the backfield and he even caught some passes as well. Three catches, 49 yards. And also ran for a touchdown, and he out-touched Eckler by a wide margin in the Week 1 loss at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So this week, a good matchup versus the New York Giants, where their defense obviously got torched in Week 1 by a middle of the pack to poor Minnesota offense, and Aaron Jones looked good. And I think Ryan Robinson once again goes out there versus the division rival Giants in Week 2, and he has a good ball game. Next start, Josh Jacobs of the Green Bay Packers. So pretty much... Now, with Jordan Love out three to six weeks with the MCL injury, there's no one on this Packer team you could really trust in your starting lineup besides Josh Jacobs just on volume and force for feeding. I think he's going to work his way into a decent performance. It's a pretty good versus the Indianapolis Colts where we just saw Joe Mixon go out there and rush over 130 yards and find in the end zone versus Colt team. So like I said, Malik Willis is going to be a quarterback. Obviously, it's going to be tough for this Green Bay Packer team to put points on the board. But I believe Josh Jacobs on volume and getting 25, 30 touches in this ball game possibly is a decent start in the final start. J.K. Dobbins of the Los Angeles Chargers. So J.K. Dobbins, what a ball game it was for him. 10 carries, 135 yards. A monster performance in that victory versus the Vegas Raiders in week one. And this week, he's got a cupcake matchup at the Carolina Panthers where the Saints went up and down the field winning 47 to 10 and Dobbins we always knew was a talented running back he just needed to stay healthy and I still believe he's not going to be a healthy running back all season but right now what a good matchup this week and he outperformed Gus Edwards in a big way in week one I would start Dobbins not to the sits Tony Power of the Tennessee Titans is a sit in this one tough matchup versus the New York Jets him and Tajay Spears Callahan said that head coach he wants to get Spears more involved where week one we didn't see much of a workload for Spears. I think Tony Powered, he came off a great game. He found the end zone, one of the better running backs in week one in fantasy points. But this week with a tough defense of the New York Jets coming to town. It's going to be tough sledding. And teams, after what they saw from Will Levis, the Bears picked him apart and created turnovers. Especially with this Jet defense. There's not going to be much movement, I believe, for this Titan offense next sit. 
Zach Moss of the Cincinnati Bengals. So Moss, he outplayed Chase Brown pretty easily in that week one victory. But week two, a very tough matchup at the Kansas City Chiefs where they bottled up Derrick Henry in week one. They beat the Baltimore Ravens. And I think Zach Moss, he might get bottled up in this ball game where the Chiefs know this passing game isn't 100%. And we don't know if T. Higgins is going to play in this game. And also Jamar Chase, he's not 100% coming into the season and he didn't do much in week one as well so with all those factors in the Chiefs like I said if they get out to an early lead once again they're gonna make Cincinnati one-dimensional and I just don't see a great game for more this week next hit Javante Williams of the Denver Broncos so it was a sign with day for Javante Williams in the week one loss at the Seattle Seahawks and this week a tough matchup First, the Pittsburgh Steelers. We know the Steelers defense is a good unit led by TJ Watt, Fitzpatrick in the secondary. And Javante Williams, we know he's not going to be in there on passing downs. With Jaleel McLaughlin, got a lot of work as well in week one. So, with all those factors in a tough matchup, and teams, they're going to try to force Bo Nix to beat him to see if the rookie could prove he could get the football down the field. I just don't see Williams having much value. And he's a sit this week. The next hit, Devin Singletary of the New York Giants. So this week, a pretty decent matchup at the Washington Commanders. I know the Commanders gave up a lot of running yards in that week one loss at Tampa Bay. Bucky Irvin looked good. Rashad White catching the football out of the backfield. Had a good game. And I know Singletary, he didn't have a horrible game. 9.20 fantasy points in PPR leagues. But this Giant team, the blueprint's out there that Daniel Jones isn't a good quarterback. And they're going to try to stop the run and have Daniel Jones try to beat him. That's exactly what the Minnesota Vikings DST did in week one. So this week, it could be a week Singletary goes out there and puts up a monster game, but I just don't see it. Well, like I said, Washington, I know their defense didn't play well in the first week of the season at Tampa Bay, but this giant offense is nowhere near that Tampa Bay offense. I think Singletary could be a tough ball game for him this week. The next hit, Raheem Mostert of the Miami Dolphins. And Mostert, he was banged up in the fourth quarter of that ball game versus Jacksonville Jaguars in week one. And Mostert, he just didn't look efficient at all. And Devon Achan, he was the more efficient running back and he looked spry and quick in that ball game, even though he was limping off a little in the fourth quarter as well. So Raheem Mostert, 32 years old, last season, magical season, no doubt about it, 21 touchdowns. But like I said, he's had an injury plague career is Raheem Mostert. And he, we don't know what the reports yet, if he's gonna have injury or not, but this is a quick turnaround versus a pretty solid defense at the up front in the Buffalo Bills. So this week after what we saw from the way the backfield was operating, I would sit most of the next hit Aaron Jones of the Minnesota Vikings. So this Viking team, they look good week one. Blew out the New York Giants in that game 28-6. Aaron Jones, big fantasy day, which obviously was easy to forecast. The Giants defense isn't all that good. And Aaron Jones early in the season has been good throughout his career. But this week, it's a tough matchup. And not a matchup I recommend to start Aaron Jones, even though I know the options are thin at the running back position to start the season. But this week with a tough matchup versus the 49ers, that's one of the best, if not the best, defensive units in all pro football, where I believe they're just going to try to make Sam Darnold beat him. And if San Francisco gets off to a quick start, they're going to be one-dimensional and throwing the football where we saw Ty Chan will work in as well in that game so this week i would stay away from aaron jones in the final running back i look to sit zamir white of the las vegas raiders so a few things against zamir white tough matchup in baltimore i think they did a pretty decent job in week one versus isaiah pacheco and also alexander madison he was the receiving back in this game with zamir white's not known for catching the football so it's pretty much a 50 50 split and the way this game script should go is obviously baltimore gets off to a good start and they're going to be traveling once again is this Vegas Raider team where they got to throw the football. And that's where Madison will come in is the passing downs back and a third down back. So this week with all those factors against Amir White. And he didn't have a great week one even though he showed some decent runs towards the end of the game. He's a sit this week. So that's running back start sits for week two of the fantasy football season.